Hi, my name is Ashish. I welcome you to another video which is regarding the Azure Virtual Networks. In this video, we will see how you can route the network traffic with a route table that you can configure in the Azure Virtual Networks. So I'll just quickly log on and show you how you do it. Okay, so I'm into this Azure portal. I'm going to quickly click on create a resource. Okay, let me search for route table here it is it's very easy you don't have to find or know the location of how you're going to do the things just click on the thing that you want to do and it'll bring it microsoft networking is our route table you see a different route tables are also present but we're going to look at the microsoft one for this tutorial a route table consists a set of rules called routes that specifies how packets should be routed in a virtual network and as we know that route table root tables are associated to subnets in each packet leaving a subnet is handled based on the associated root table so it's a kind of route that you define for your uh, within the virtual networks and subnets so i click on create i give it a name author route root table R O U T E T A B L E. I'm going to place in the same resource group BGB route propagation. I click on, let's say, leave it enabled. It's going to create. It's validating. Okay. I'm in my root table. That is a root table. And I click on root under the settings tab. I do not have any root. I'll add it. Hope it okay. Ten zero one zero slash twenty four. Next top type is I'm gonna. No, I'm. You can give it. Internet, you can give it a virtual appliance, or you can give it a VNet, or we can you can give it an internet. Let's choose virtual appliance for this. And my next address would be I give it two. Okay. Okay, let's see why. Oh, okay. Accepting the dash. I click on OK. So my root has been added. In the root table, I'm into my subnet that is a survey net. And I'm going to associate uh, the root table in this default subnet that I created. And my root table is so table manage user. I don't have the other. I click on save. How you create a root table, associate a root inside the root table to an existing VNet. And after that, you can create a virtual machine that would act as an uh, IP forwarding or would forward the request coming from these route to a specific virtual machine is within a specific virtual network. So this was uh, the description of how you can perform the root table and grounding for the within a subnet in Azure. I hope this was informative to all of you. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video on all the social media platforms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification as soon as I upload a new video. Till the, till the next time, you have a great day.